What's up guys, John B here, and this is a quick sneak peek into my camera bag. Uh, I've had a few people ask on my photography forums, uh, basically what do I carry around and and uh, what I shoot with. So uh, this is the answer right here. Uh, basically this right here is what I carry around to all my shoots. Uh, just make sure I have all my lenses and things like that. And uh, pretty much has everything I need most of the time. But um, we'll start from the left and go to the right. And uh, to the left I have my Canon 5D Mark III. It has a Canon uh, grip on the bottom of it, so you can turn the camera up vertically and has all the same buttons that are on top of the camera. So it comes in great for vertical shots because you don't have to put your hand on top of the camera. On uh, the lens, it's a Canon 70 to 200 f2.8 IS version 2 lens, and uh, it's a really sharp lens. I love it. It uh, it pretty much stays on my camera. I use it for almost everything. But um, yeah, I just great lens. The um, right beside it with a red ring up top is a Canon 16 to 35 f/4 IS lens. It's uh, my go-to for my landscapes a lot of times because a wide-angle lens, and uh, sometimes it's a little too wide, so um, it uh, kind of distorts things. So uh, I try not to shoot too much under uh, 20 millimeters on it, but uh, if I have to, I'll go to 16. Uh, to the right of it is my Canon 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. Uh, it's a great portrait lens, uh, walk around lens, anything. And because uh, prime lens, it doesn't zoom or anything, so it makes you think about the shots a little more. And um, you know, you use your uh, you you go back and forth, side to side, and stuff like that because you can't zoom. And uh, that's what I like about it. Plus, it's lightweight, and being an f1.4, it's good for low light and and uh, really the background out really nice also. Uh, below the lenses with the white cap is my Canon 430EX flash. It's the version 1 flash so um, it's been out for a while and uh, I really don't use on-camera flash anymore. Uh, everything I, if I do flash it's uh, like doing strobes. It's off-camera. Uh, to the right of it I have uh, my battery charger for my camera, an extra battery. I always keep an extra battery with me. I also keep an extra uh, memory card just in case. And uh, beside the memory card to the right is my wireless trigger for my uh, strobe. Uh, you know, always using strobes for uh, portraits and stuff like that a lot of times. So um, light them up, make them look nice, and that's the trigger for it. Uh, behind the, the little trigger there, I have uh, four filters. I got uh, two ND filters. One is a, um, a six stop, and the other is a 10 stop filter. I use them a lot for my landscapes, you know, kind of for water, blurring the water out, you know, making the water smooth and uh, making the clouds a uh, little out there going across the sky. I also have a uh, circular polarizer lens uh, filter, and uh, that makes the colors pop. And and uh, when I'm shooting water, you know, makes the water takes the, the glare off the water. I also have a regular clear filter, so when I'm shooting motocross or any kind of sports. I'll put it on front of my lens so uh, any dust and stuff like that doesn't get on my lens. I'd rather get on the filter. That way the filter is a lot easier to clean. And talking about cleaning stuff, right above the filters I have a, a, a sensor cleaning kit. I have a that uh, air blower. And then they come in handy for cleaning all the time because the camera is always you know, out in elements. So I always, I'm always i very OCD about keeping my camera stuff and all that clean and you know just want everything to look nice and stay clean. and work for a long time and uh, the ziplock bag up there is uh, batteries because you know you always need batteries for batteries for things so I always carry my batteries around and it has a battery charger in there I also have a um, right below the blower is my inner barometer I use it for my time-lapse videos and my uh, long exposures and beside it I have a, um, a light meter it's a Sekonic uh, I can't remember the number. I think it's 383. It's a light meter. I use it a lot with strobes and stuff like that. And, and uh, when I do outdoor port portraits, I use it just to make sure you know my. You can't really trust the in-camera meter too well, so um, I always use a light meter just to make sure I'm getting my exposure correctly. And uh, to the right of the light meter is more batteries and a charger. You know, just keep uh, always keep my batteries charged and extra batteries around. And the little white disc down there, it's a um, white balance exposure. It uh, it corrects your white balance. You put it on the front of your lens, and 
take a picture and set, set, set your white balance in your camera. And uh, I used to use it a lot when I did uh, portraits indoors with strobes and stuff. But um, lately I hadn't, it's just, I probably hadn't used it in a year because um, I go in the Lightroom and stuff like that, set my own white balance and uh, get everything straight the way I like it in, you know, in Lightroom and stuff. But uh, basically I shoot raw, so when you shoot raw you can change all that. But uh, if I was uh, shooting JPEG, it'd be something really nice to have, you know. But um, I couldn't tell you the last time I shot JPEG, I like shooting raw because raw you have all full control of your pictures. The camera's not deciding for you what it's supposed to look like. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it in my bag. And a lot of times I'll have um, my strobe, it's a Flashpoint Explorer 600. And uh, I'll take it with me. And uh, excellent flash. I was with Alien Bees for the longest time, and and uh, technology keeps changing. And uh, Alien Bees wasn't keeping up, so I sold my Alien Bees and went to a Flashpoint Explorer 600. And uh, excellent light, love it. And uh, it does uh, TTL and high speed sync, so shooting portraits outside, uh, bright sunshine, you can still shoot it f1.4. And uh, get away with it. Shoot it, you know, one eight thousandths of a second. The flash is right there with you. You, you know, old uh, alien bees and stuff. You had to shoot it. Your sync speed that your camera can go to. A lot of times on Canon, it's uh, uh, one sixty of a second. And that right there, you couldn't, you know, blur the background out and stuff like that. It had to be like f nine stuff like that. But now with these flash point explorers, you can, um, like I said, shoot it f one point four, which is my fastest fastest lens. And uh, up all the way up to one eight thousandths of a second, the flash would, you know, be right there with you. So I like it. But um, I also use a for the Explorer. I use a uh, LMB forty seven inch, I believe it is, Octobox. And I uh, love the Octobox. Gives a uh, nice light, uh, really soft and stuff like that. So I use it all the time when I when I'm doing portraits. But uh, I think that's pretty much it that I have around here right now. But uh. Hopefully enjoyed the little sneak peek into my bag, and uh, if you got any questions, hit me up. All right, talk to y'all later. See ya. Ah, uh, remember, remember to like, subscribe, and uh, hit a little bell down there for notifications, and uh, leave me a comment, and uh, just let me know you're here. All right, later.